it'd be a more perfectly sunny day, Ted. <laughs> Don't believe it could, Nettie. Don't believe it could. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Wait a second. Are you? Oh. Nope. <laughs> you guys are good. Hello. Oh, nope. Okay. This is a real pickle. <laughs> If I was Squirt, I'd hide right there! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Aw, found me! <laughs> there you go! Now, where are the other buglets hiding? <laughs> hmm, let me see. Hmm, <laughs> this berry looks delicious! Oh, <laughs> it's me, Uncle Gus! Oh, well, so it is! <laughs> oh, hmm. <laughs> this blade of grass has wings. Aw, you got me. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> got me, Uncle Gus. <laughs> what now? What now? What now? Well, we could. Oh, hmm. It seems to be getting darker. Must be a cloud blocking the sun. But there aren't any clouds. What's happening? I'm not sure, but I have a hunch. First, I'll make a tiny hole in this leaf, like so. When the sun shines through this little hole, we see its shape on this flower petal. Wow. Is that the sun? Yes. But what's that? It looks like there's a bite out of the sun. That bite is the moon, Bounce. The moon? It's the moon that's blocking the sun. Make it get out of the way. It's okay, Bounce. Something wonderful is happening. It is? We're having an eclipse of the sun. Wow. Spiderific. What's a whatchamacallit of the sun, Uncle Gus? Yeah, what is it? An eclipse? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, well, what's the best way to explain this? Okay, uh, do you see that sunflower way over there? Yes. Good. Pretend that's the sun. And just like the real sun, it's far, far away. And pretend Squirt is planet Earth where we live. Stay right here, Squirt. And pretend this is the moon. What are you doing now, Uncle Gus? Well, the blueberry, uh, uh, I mean, the moon, goes around the Earth like this. Gee, Uncle Gus, I'm getting dizzy. The moon always travels around the Earth, and on a few very special days, like today, the moon lines up directly between the Earth and the sun, like this. So, now what's happening? Wow. wow. Gosh. The sunflower's hiding behind the blueberries. I mean, the sun's hiding behind the moon. You got it, Squirt. That's an eclipse. So, the sun is hiding? Yep, that's why it's getting dark in the daytime. Is it going to get completely dark? Yes. Spiderific! It's going to be a topsy-turvy day. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's scurry on home. Yay! We've got to get our eclipse-watching gear ready. Cool. But what if the sun doesn't come back? Oh, it will bounce. Don't worry. But what if it doesn't? Looking at the sun is a real no-no, because the sun's rays can really hurt our eyes, even during an eclipse. Hmm. That's why we're each making one of these viewing boxes. Cool! When the sun shines through the little hole, it makes a little sun picture inside. Oh. We'll be able to watch the moon passing in front of the sun when the shadow goes across the flower petal here. Does the sun know when to come back out, Uncle Gus? It doesn't have to. The moon will keep moving right across the sun. I promise it will come out again, Bounce. Aww. Now, let's take our gear out and head back ah. to the meadow. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Come on, Bounce. Uh, I'm coming. But what if the sun...
sun doesn't come back. How will flowers bloom? What will dry up the rain? <gasps> How will we know when to wake up in the morning? Don't worry, Bounce. The sun will come back. Uh, this is a good spot, kids. Wow, the meadow looks really neat. It's spooky. I'll put your box over here, Bounce. It's getting darker. I think the moon's gonna completely hide the sun very soon. Maybe the sun is just playing hide and seek. <laughs> I know how to make sure Sunny comes back out. Uh, where are you going, Bounce? I'll be right back, and so will the sun. Honey, honey, sun is free. Hmm, you blocking my rays, Ted? Uh-uh, not me, Ned. Huh. Bedtime already, Nettie? Mm, must be, Ted, must be. <laughs> oh, and just in time, I am wiped out from a full day of sunning. <laughs> hey, have we had dinner, Ned? Hmm, no, I don't believe we have. Well, then why is it getting so dark? Wow, well, <gasps> the sun is going away. It, it looks like, like somebody took a big bite out of it. <gasps> Somebody's eating the sun! Ah! It's, it's the, the end, end of, of the, the world! world. Oh, only one thing to do, Ted. What's that, Ned? Paddle to shore! Paddle hard! We have to eat our food stores before the world ends! Ah! Boy, it really is getting dark. Yeah, Bounce was right. It is kind of spooky. Look into your boxes, kids! Ooh. Cool! Just a bit longer and the sun will be completely hidden. My sunny hides behind the moon. My sunny hides where I can't see. My sunny hides behind the moon. Oh, come back, my sunny, to me. Come back, come back. Oh, come back, my friend, Sonny. Come back, come back. Oh, come back, my friend, Sonny. <gasps> Amazing! A total eclipse! <gasps> the sun is gone. Come back, come back. Oh, come back, my friend, Sonny. Come back! Come back, oh, come back, my friend, Sunny. Make way for nighttime bugs. <laughs> Look, no buggy knows if it's day or night. Every buggy's a little confused. Relax, every buggy. It's just an eclipse. The sun will be back in a few moments. Yeah, every buggy. It's just an eclipse. The sun's just hiding behind the moon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nighttime bugs aren't the only things fooled by the eclipse. <gasps> Under here, every buggy. Quick. Come on out, kids. The sun has sent the owl back to bed. The sun is coming back. I did it, I did it, I did it! My sun dance worked! Bounce? Bounce! Bounce? Bounce! Where are you? <laughs> hey, everybody! Oh, where were you, Bounce? In the sunflowers. But you missed the eclipse. No, I didn't. I brought the sun back with my sun dance. See? You came back, came back, you came back, my sonny, to me. You came back, <laughs> came back, you came back, my sonny, to me. Yay! Wow, you did it, Bounce. <laughs> yep. I'm sure your sun dance helped, Bounce. Well done. The bees are back. 
All the daytime bugs are out again. The eclipse is almost finished. Aw, too bad. Yeah, that was fun. Again, again, again! <laughs> oh, I'm afraid the show is over, Bouncer. But I want another eclipse. I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> we can't just make an eclipse happen. Another one might not happen again for a long, long time. Oh, well. I'm just happy my sonny came back. Hey, keep digging, Ned. Keep digging. <laughs> I got it! Oh, come on. Let's go. Hey, it's not dark anymore. What? Whoa. Oh, no end of the world, Ted. Uh, afraid not, Ned. Uh, well, uh, since the world didn't end, uh, well, there's only one thing to do. <laughs> Give me the big one over there. Forget oh, about that it. looks juicy. That one's mine. I saw it first, you big pig. Hide and sleuth. Good morning, Shelly. Where are you headed in such a big hurry? The basketberry court. But this big rock got in my way. Sometimes it's faster to go over than around. Mom! 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 Bounce, squirt, what is it? Can you play hide and seek with us? Yeah, can you? Please? Sorry, little bugs, but I'm busy looking for the last wild strawberries of the season. I love strawberries. Me too. But now we have no buggy to play with us. What about your brothers and sisters? They're at the basketberry court. Every buggy is. I could play with you. I'm really good at hiding. Watch. Ta-da! Spider-rific. Don't you think so, kids? I guess. Uh. Good little bugs include every buggy in their game. Uh, you can okay. play. Gee, thanks. Wonderful. I bet you'll have web loads of fun. Goodbye. See ya. Bye, Mom. Bye, Miss Spider. Okay, first we need a place to call home. I know a good spot. Come on. Hey, wait up. Coming, Bounce. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hey there, kids. Hi, Stinky. What you looking for? And why are you wearing your Stinky P.U. hat? That Stinky the Stink Bug P.I. Private Investigator. Oh. And I was reading a book on how to be a better detective, only now I can't find it. So, uh, where are you bugs off to? We're playing hide and seek. Oh, can I play? Oh, I love hide and seek. Uh, even if I am easy to find. <laughs> Mom did say to include every buggy in our game. Okay, you can play. Oh, goody. So is it just the three of us? No, it's you, us, and <gasps> Shelly. <gasps> Shelly! Shelly! Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I guess I'm kind of slow. Yep. That's okay. You know, maybe we should just make this rock home. Thanks. Hi, Stinky. Are you playing too? Yes, indeedy. Won't this be fun? <sighs> I'll be it first. One right. dragonfly, two dragonfly, three dragonfly. Ready or not, here I come. One, two, three, I see Shelly. <sighs> You can come out, Bounce. Huh? He found us. Hey, he found you, not me. One, two, three, I see Bounce. Uh. Now you have to find Stinky. One, two, three, I see Stinky behind the toadstool. Is that see or smell? Well done, Squirt. Wasn't that fun? Uh-huh, Weblos. <laughs> okay, okay, now it's my turn to be it. I'll count to 50 to give Shelly a chance to hide, okay? <laughs> Gee, thanks, Stinky. One dragonfly, two dragonfly, okay. three dragonfly, Here I go. four dragonfly, five dragonfly, six dragonfly, seven dragonfly, <gasps> This is fun. Yeah, finally. Ready or not? 
won't find us here. <laughs> One, two, three. I see squirt and bounce. Hey, how did you find us so fast? Oh, all I did was follow your trail. Trail? What trail? Your footprints. They led me right to you. Oh. My detector book says every buggy leaves some kind of trail. Hey, that's right. Stink bugs leave a scent trail. And snails leave a slime trail. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. All I gotta do now is follow it right to Shelly. This should be easy. He can't be too far. Hmm. Oh, hey! What is it, Stinky? Shelly's trail. It just stops. Wow. A mystery. This looks like a case for Stinky the Stink Bug, P.I. It does? But my book never said what to do if the trail disappears. Mm. Maybe there are other clues. Oh! Huh? Look! More tracks. Big tracks. Chicken tracks. Judging by the size and shape, I suspect towel play. <laughs> Good one. Uh -huh. yeah. So, where's Shelly? Um, I don't know for sure, but my guess is the chicken saw Shelly, picked him up before he could hide, and carried him off <gasps> that away. G -g -g carried him off? Oh, no. We better find him. Fast. <laughs> hey, these tracks stop, too. Oh. Now what do we do? We look for more clues. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here, a big branch fell down. And here are some chicken feathers. Hmm. <gasps> Maybe that branch fell from this tree and scared the chicken. Startled, it flew into the air, losing its feathers, and landed this away. Wow. How do you know all that? Uh, a good guess? Look, more feathers! And more chicken tracks. Stinky, you were right. I was? Well, what do you know? Follow that chicken! Hold your horse flies, kitties. Maybe the chicken doesn't have Shelly anymore. Maybe when it got startled, the chicken opened her beak like so. What? Oh, I'm startled! Flinging Shelly, hold that away. Spread out, kids, and look for clues. Nothing. Yeah. Nine. Nada. <gasps> I found something! <laughs> Shelly did come this way. But. I thought we were looking for his slime trail. Not necessarily. My guess is his shell made this crater when he landed. Palunk! His shell bounced, and it bounced, and it rolled down this hill. Shelly! Shelly! Guys! Guys, I found Shelly! Shelly, you can come out now! Where did Shelly go? And why did he leave his shell? He didn't. Snails can't leave their shells. They're attached to them. Which means... This isn't his shell. It's elementary, my dear Squirt. Then where is he? That, my dear Bounce, is the very question to which I must find... <gasps> the answer. Aha! Here's Bouncy's trail, and there's a second one, going past the shell. Shelly's trail! Shelly! Cool! Let's go! Oh. Bounce, uh -huh. did you find Shelly? Uh-uh. A strawberry. Yum. Bounce, this is no time for a berry break. Yeah, we'll come back and snack after we find Shelly. Uh. Well, what do you know? The teddy puddle. And look! Shelly's slime trail. Oh, it stops again. What's that? It looks like a big footprint. Where did Shelly go? You know, this print doesn't look like a footprint. From up here, it looks more like it was made by a body. <gasps> a frog's body. Excellent deduction, my dear Squirt. That means a very good guess on your part. So, did the frog eat Shelly? Oh, on the contrary. My guess is this was a friendly frog. Observe. 
The frog's head was pointed that away. So Shelly must have climbed onto its back and off they went. But where did the frog take him? I think they headed for the meadow. The meadow? That's ridiculous. <gasps> of course. I know who took Shelly and exactly where to find them. Follow me. Uh-huh, just as I thought. Shelly bumped into our old friend Felix and got a lift home. Home free. I win! Shelly, you're okay! Yeah, and this is the first time I ever won at Hide and Seek, thanks to Felix. No problem. See you, everybody. Bye, Bye Felix! Bye, Sayonara! Toodles. Um, now that we've found Shelly, can anybody deduce what time it is? I know! Strawberry snack time! <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. That was the best game we ever played, thanks to you two. You always kept us guessing. And Stinky was a great B.I. That means private investigator, you know. I know, but I still don't understand how he knew about the chicken or how you guys were able to follow me. It was elementary, my dear Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought I heard some buggy. It sounds like you had a fun game. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm afraid I came up empty-handed, though, except for this. <gasps> my detective book! Oh, my gosh. Thanks, Miss S. I owe you. Well, since you put it that way, Eunice told me there's a strawberry hiding around here somewhere. Maybe you can help me find it. We know exactly where it is. But you have to follow the clues. So I have to play detective, do I? Okay, first, I see a strawberry plant, but no berries. Next, I see bright red berry juice around Bounce's mouth. <laughs> and a big smile on every buggy's face. So, that must mean... Aha! One, two, three on the strawberry. Hiding in every buggy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's elementary, my dear mom. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. <laughs>